This item was provided in part with Mega Constructs World Trader on Facebook. Join today and shop with the community. This tiny ATV has been fit to scout the area and drive through the terrain mainly in rough roads. Take the Pathfinder Spartan on a mission and get through quickly. From Mega Constructs Halo, this is the UNSC Woodland Gun Goose. Before we go deep into the set, I want to thank World Trader for Mega Constructs who helped send this over for video purposes. I completely missed out on this for some reason. Maybe the box was a bit intimidating for a gun goose? Don't you miss the old two pack that came with the turret? That was good value. I guess I shouldn't compare since times have changed and the construction seems more complex. Would be cool to add something else, but in hand, this is probably one of the best mongooses made. The set includes a tan base plate and a suppressed SMG in black. Molded as one piece before they thought adding a very easily lost piece was a good idea. To drive the vehicle, the set comes with a single red UNSC Spartan Pathfinder. Took them a while to catch up since the old design, now updated to the new articulation mold. Black undersuit, red armor, a female mold torso, and blue visor that desperately needed a trim. Looks like a metallic balloon popped in his helmet. Now this is looking more like a typical ATV. Well, one with gunners on the top, hence the name Gun Goose. Design elements have changed over time from aesthetic choices, but here, this seems to be a whole nother level of detail. Stepping away from the simple plate construction, this uses different pattern shapes and detailed pieces to make the body of the vehicle, with slopes, specialized parts, and perfectly assigned armatures that ratchet. Not sure if it's just for that specific style, or it's intended to adjust the level of the vehicle considering they're combined with the stopping point, but that's not going to stop any dynamic looks. If you take off that centerpiece, you can move it separately, or move it completely forward and it becomes the UNSC shrimp. Now make sure that as you're building this you keep an eye for the pins. Apparently one side has a tight connection while the other is loose. I recommend attaching the loose side to the wheel itself. Despite how wide the steps make it seem, it's not impossible to get the Spartan to sit properly with his hands on the bars. Though with the camo detail printing, he just looks like he's floating. How many of you haven't heard that joke before? The gunners are well placed on the front, but you can also use assistance on the rear. With bars to stand on, a section to sit, and a bar to hold, another Spartan can sit back and take aim. There's also an open clip, possibly for weapon storage. Some notable detail, the piece tucked inside, the front custom piece, the shocks inside, and these curved slopes upside down to complete the shape. Even though it's far more complex than the recon getaway, I'm very surprised to find that this build is not only well detailed, but it's structurally superior. It doesn't fall apart for a mongoose vehicle. I'm actually very surprised. Not only are there some interesting techniques in the build, but it's more stable than I would imagine. Everything makes this a well-made quality vehicle, and I can't thank World Trader enough for giving me this. I'd say this is one Gun Goose build you do not want to miss.